Nearly a year after 22-year-old blogger Gabby Petito was found murdered in Wyoming, a TV movie is coming out about the case. We've got your first look at the film, which recreates that story, which captivated the nation. He said, I need to calm down, yeah. It's your first look at the eerie recreation of Gabby Petito's encounter with police just days before her murder. The movie scene looks just like the real police body cam. It's hard to tell the difference when the cops pulled over the van that Gabby and her fiance, Brian Laundrie, were driving after a witness reported a domestic dispute. This is how it happened in real life. I don't know, we have been fighting all morning. And this is how the movie depicts it. I know, this morning we were just fighting and he wouldn't let me in the car. The Gabby Petito story, airing on Lifetime, is said to reveal new insight into their doomed relationship. And Inside Edition was behind the scenes. Actress Skylar Samuels plays Gabby. Side by side, the similarities are striking. Actor Evan Hall was cast as Gabby's fiance turned killer, Brian Laundry. He also bears an uncanny resemblance. That's the actor, and that's the real life Brian Laundry. Hello, hello. It was just one year ago that Gabby's remains were found after she set off on a cross country adventure with Laundry and suddenly went missing. After a nationwide manhunt, Laundry was found dead from a self inflicted gunshot wound. Cops say he strangled Gabby. It's a huge responsibility for us to portray Brian and Gabby. I think it, an important distinction we've tried to make is that Brian and Gabby aren't characters, they're people. We've been talking a lot about this being a cautionary tale. Some are questioning if it's just too soon to make a movie about the tragic case that riveted America. The disappearance of 22-year-old Gabby Petito is now national news. Every day I think about Gabby's parents and I am heartsick every day that they have to deal with every parent's worst nightmare. The actors are wearing purple ribbons to remember Gabby, and they say they hope their movie does justice to the young woman gone much too soon. My hope is that my portrayal of Gabby reminds them of the fierceness of their daughter, that she was a fighter, she was not a damsel in distress, and that she deserved so much better. The Gabby Petito story premieres Saturday on Lifetime and then will stream on Sunday.